Hi guys, it's Wombat and today we are taking a look at MHA Pro for ATS-135. MHA Pro for 135 has been updated uh, and is both working on DX11 as well as DX9. And it is of course compatible with all the map DLCs including Washington. And today we're taking a look at the new cities. There are several, six to be precise, that is included in this update, as well as the previously already known cities. Uh, we have the cities of Fort Sumner, Adel, Danio, Harfield, Whale and Brogan added to MHA Pro. And if you're not familiar with what MHA Pro is, it is a paid mod. There is a free version as well. We're not going to talk about that. That covers about 5% of what the paid version of MJ Pro includes. So obviously this is the paid version. And what it is, is I'm going to call it something similar to Pro Mods, but for ATS in this case. There is also a ETS2 version of MJ Pro, but of course this is the MJ Pro for ATS version that we are looking at. And it is similar to Pro Mods in the sense that it is a high quality add-on which adds a ton of new cities and roads to the uh, base map as well as the DLCs. Now the version for 135 that I'm currently holding on at least do not add anything to Washington but it has been made compatible with Washington so um, I'm not 100% sure that you actually need Washington for this one to work but it definitely works together with Washington and today we're gonna look at what the new cities looks like as well as what MHA Pro now uh, adds to the base map and the DLCs and we're gonna look at how you set the map up as well as how you combine it with the Mexican maps and the reason I'm not gonna bother with trying to get this to work together with Coast to Coast and Canada Dream and possibly other map mods as well is simply because my thinking is that if you buy MHA Pro you want to use this on a profile of high quality and to be completely honest neither C2C or Canadream offers very high quality so um, I'm using this together with Mexico only also MHA Pro is notoriously difficult to combine with other map mods and even if you're only using Mexican maps here it is not 100% compatible. I'm gonna show you where the problems are. There are not a lot of them, but there is one tiny one to consider at least if you are going to combine this one with Mexico. But we're gonna start by looking at the new cities.
here is the base map and all the DLCs, including Washington. And for this exercise, we are going to ignore Washington. Yes, MHA Pro has been uh, made compatible with Washington, but MHA Pro do not currently add any roads or cities in Washington. So what is gray here, the roads that are gray here, is just me not yet having driven there and discovered these roads on the Washington DLC. But from Oregon, down south and east on the rest of the DLCs and base map, I had 100% of the map discovered. So what you see here marked gray or colored gray are all parts of what MHA Pro delivers. So all these cities that you see here that are gray or and the roads that are gray as well, they are all part of MHA Pro. And here is the map again, this time with Mexico Extremo, Mexico, uh, sorry, Mexis map and Viva Mexico added as well. And it's not a hundred percent this one. Here we have one missing piece of road, but that is also the only thing I have found that doesn't work with this setup. And if you can't live with this, uh, you'll have to remove the Mexican maps and use MJ Pro only. But this is my suggestion for a map combo for MJ Pro, adding all the Mexican maps. And here is how I set it up. Quite different from what we are used to, but this is MHA Pro, so um, we have MHA Pro 1.35 ATS Part 4, Part 3, Part 2 and Part 1. On top of that we have Viva Mexico version 2.5.2, .2, Mexico Extremo version 2.1.9 and Maximap SLP version 1.3 and of course Mega Resources 2.1.3 and the Coast to Coast patch is required as well. If you don't have this one, the game will crash during loading. Of course, the six cities that I've shown you of, uh, uh, of MHA Pro are not the only changes to this new version. There are in total 38 changes, fixes and additions to the map in this new version. On top of the previously released cities and roads that you've seen on the map. Uh, so uh, it's a pretty big uh, update, especially considering how notoriously difficult 1.35 is, especially with the addition of DX11. So I'm quite happy with this update and I'm very very pleased to see that it's working great on DX11. Many of you are of course familiar with MHA Pro and how you get your hands on the newest version of the map. For the rest of you, if you don't know how to do it, you will have to go to mhapro.com create a profile and then donate five euros to Alex, the creator of MHA Pro. Uh, once you've done that and he have approved on your donation, the download links for this version will become available on mhapro.com for you and for the profile that you have created on the website. One last thing, throughout this video the only thing you've seen here is the base map, the DLCs and the MHA Pro map. I have no additional mods whatsoever installed here, so it's all MHA Pro. If you are interested in more extensive information about MHA Pro, I am providing a couple of links to videos I've done previously on MHA Pro at the end of this video. 
And with that said, I want to thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, subscribe as well. And as always, feel free to share my videos on all your social media. It helps me get more views and hopefully also more subscribers, which allows me to grow. And that is kind of what this is about, isn't it? <laughs> so uh, thank you very much, guys. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.